Justin. Yeah, so it's... Anyway, this is a gear ball. It is different from a 3x3. Three three. Why am I talking in such a low, masculine voice? Don't ask me. Really, just I don't I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, yeah. Let's get on with this thing. It's uh. It's um uh perfect. It's perfect for beginners because it's a really really easy puzzle. It's um. Made by a manufacturer called uh, Yep, Mefferts and has Oscar Ventaventer's signature on it. So, yeah, I scrambled it off screen, and um, I think we should uh, get to solving. I can just sit down correctly. I know how to sit down. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a red corner. This one has red and green on it. Look for another red and green. All right, this one has red and green. So what I do is I kind of do like a, a left and a, you know, a back. A left and a back, or a right and a a back. Does my mom, does my mom want to get out the room, buddy? Want to get out? Oh, I think you want to get out. Want to get out, buddy? Want to get out? Hurry. Smell in the light bulb. Yeah. Here, there you can go. Wait, push. Good job. Alright, my cat was locked in her locked in this room. Now I got the red side. So I want to get the other side, so what I do is I just twist it a couple times, and, oh, oh, okay, there's something wrong with my scramble, but this is actually something that might happen to people, so I'm just going to start scrambling it again because I have no idea what happened in the video I watched that was I don't think that was ever a problem for him it's weird anyway let's look for the reds again okay this one's orange actually so right So I found the orange ones, and ah, hey, now the orange is semi-solved. Now all these other sides are semi-solved. 
So I want to look at these edgy whatevers. Like these twister blisters. So what I want to do is I want to find two that need to switch, like these two, here and here. And I put them at the top layer, which is kind of your front, but... Hey, I guess you could learn from this. What I do is R2 up, R2 up, which now they should be switched. So, um, up, R2, up, and I'm gonna figure out what the heck's going on here. R2, up, R2, up. R2 up, R2 up. One more, I think. R2 up, R2 up. And, um, yeah, they all seem to be in the right place. You can just rotate them. show you how I rotate them because that's the last step but either you have a lot of the sides with different edgy whatevers in the middle or you have none and you just need to go to the next step the next step is the easiest And that sound, that clicking sound is just this, uh, just this thing. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to hold this, this one with like, there's probably going to be two. Yeah, there's going to be uh, two with four colors all on the inside. What you want to do is you want to go R, U, R, U, R, U. Now you want to do that. Now you want to find another one. And so here's the some of them that don't need to be twisted. I'm pretty sure you want to put those at the back. Like, see. Right there, you want to put them at the back. And then you want to go R, U, R, U, R, U. Or, hold on. If that doesn't work, I'm going to try putting them... Well, I guess there is no other way to hold it. So, R, U, R, U, R, U, R, U, R, U, R, U. And, um, just, um, doing what should happen to a lot of people. You're going to get this scene where these aren't twisted all the way. So what you want to do is you just want to um, do R4. Until all the sides are complete. So 
Yeah. That's my, you know, kind of tutorial on a gear cube. And I hope you can learn from it. Well, if you didn't, then, well, I understand that. I'm not a person who usually makes puzzle tutorials. But I think I did pretty good on this. And, uh... I think that I did great on this tutorial. So, good day to you. Close.